You might call it the end of an era for some Halloween fans. Yeah, for years, one Plano man had the scariest house on the block, but now he's about to call it quits. New for you at 5, Gabriel Rojas, live in Plano with a closer look at the house before the sun goes down. We might think this would be strictly a nighttime attraction, but we've seen people coming by throughout the day to take a look, and most of them tell us they're sorry to see all this go. But between now and then, uh, you, between now and Halloween, you can take a look before it's all over. Even before crowds start forming after dark, people like Robbie Harler come from miles away just to see it clearly. I've been coming checking out his house probably about the last five years. I, he's always got something different and it's always really elaborate. This year's theme highlights movie characters that range from The Exorcist to Friday the 13th. This is going to be the tunnel of terror. Uh, we've been doing it about seven years and uh, we're not quite finished with it yet. <laughs> Tony Giles is the man behind the display and he says each year has become more elaborate than the last. You know, it's making memories for the kids and it's something that I enjoy. It's my hobby. You know, Halloween is my hobby. So this is something I do three months out of the year and um, I really enjoy it. But devoting three months out of the year to planning and building and maintenance was becoming more work than Giles had time to do. He says it's also become a distraction for the neighborhood. After last year, police had to shut him down early and clear out the crowd blocking the street. Trick or treaters that waited in line for an hour and a half to two hours just to get in this house. And, you know, they had to leave because I got shut down. And that didn't sit well with me. So that's why he agreed to do one last Halloween. With help from his HOA, he's hired four off duty police officers to help with security and gotten a permit to shut down the street to go out in style. But Giles tells fans not to worry. When, when I say that this is the last of the display, that doesn't mean that, that this is the last of me. Now, Giles would only hint at future plans for another possible attraction beyond his front lawn, but until then, people are welcome to come by and visit between now and Halloween. We're live in Plano. Gabriel Rojas, CBS 11 News.